Hello and welcome to another UMake tutorial. My name is Nico and in this tutorial series I'm going to teach you how to design a wheel that looks kind of like this in UMake. Wheels are relatively complex objects and there are multiple components to them and the concepts that I'm going to teach you in this small uh, mini tutorial series uh, are going to be concepts that you can actually use in any NURBS modeling program to model a wheel. Essentially, it's going to consist of drawing a couple different curves. I'm going to come over here to my view options. I'm going to turn off the surfaces. I'm just going to show you all the components that make up this wheel. And actually, it's even less because right now all the curves for the spokes are shown. Uh, but for the tire and the rim, for example, all it is is really just these two curves here. And then down below, you have the hub, which is just a couple of circles. And so uh, let's get started. So I'm going to turn this back on and I'm going to exit out of this and create a new file. So let's start. We're going to start in the front view and what we're going to do is we're going to start by drawing the tire. So the tire and the rim. So in uh, basically just zoom in and then draw two curves. I'm going to draw one curve like this and another curve like this. This is going to end up being the rim. This is going to end up being the tire. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some control points. So I'm going to double tap on the curve for the tire and I'm going to add some control points. Now you're going to ask, uh, actually before I do this, why didn't I just draw a shape? You know, I could have, if I wanted the tire, I could have drawn a shape like this. And then for the rim, I could have drawn a shape like this. Well, the reason is, is as you can see uh, with these two curves, um, I have a little bit less control. And I can come in and I can definitely edit these to, to add some control. But when I'm doing something more precise, generally I like to start with just straight lines and then add the points. I can add fewer points and I have a little bit more control over the overall shape. So I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to edit the points. I'm going to add a couple points here. So the two end points are going to come over. And when you're making kind of a corner, just keep in mind that the distance between the first, uh, the, between two points kind of dictates the way that the, that the curves look. So you can see I have something that looks like this. Now a tire usually has more of a shape like that. So we're going to add a few more points here. Maybe another one over here. Now the, the, the surface of the tire I want to be relatively flat. And you can notice that uh, I'm drawing this curve over the origin right here. So basically that means that uh, it's centered and I can move this curve uh, later. You'll see what that means. But for now, just make sure that when you start off, you have these curves relatively close to the origin. That's this, this little point here on the, on the grid. All right. Let's see, I'm pretty good with that. I, I'm, I'm liking this profile. Let's see, bring this down there. And, all right. Now, once I'm done with that, I'm gonna do the rim. And so I'm going to edit this curve. Now the interior of a rim, essentially when you have a rim, you're going to want to come out, it, you know, it comes out, the tire actually tucks up under the, the lip of a rim. So I'm going to need to make uh, some, some special shapes for that. And that's going to require a couple different control points just to make sure that we can get the curves uh, that tight. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a very tight, bend here and then another one and so we're going to have this kind of lip 
that comes up. like that so it looks it'll look like the tire is kind of going inside of it and I'm just going to bring this over you can see that it's right up against the edge of this tire surface I'm going to do the same thing over here add a couple points that's about five points there I'm going to come up here actually bring this one up And do the same thing. There you go, you have the lip. Now right now the profile of this rim is uh, completely flat, the, this, this little shape here. I'm going to want something that looks a little bit more geometric, so I'm going to add some points here. Well, just has kind of a little bit more structural shape to it. It'll be a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to bring Move these down actually. That. Now that curve is a little too much, too wavy, so I want something that's more sharp. Something like that should do just fine for now. And I think I might move those points over just a little bit more. Multi-select with the lasso tool, move these points over. There we go. Now you can see that I have these two profiles pretty close to, to the origin right now. I'm actually going to double tap and select both of these at the same time. Oh. And I'm going to drag these up just a little bit more. Remember that this is this distance here is your radius. It represents basically half of the, the overall diameter. And so you want this to, you know, you're going to multiply whatever this distance is by two to figure out the size of the model that you're making. So once I'm done with that, I am going to make sure that I put both of these on their own layer. There we go. And now I'm going to do a revolved surface. So for the first one I'm going to tap revolve and you'll see I get the shape here. I'm going to drag the axes down by grabbing these little kind of blue dot handles. I'm going to do the best I can to align the handles and the axis on this bottom of the axis. So this is along the x-axis here and it'll snap once it's horizontal and that'll make my tire. So you can see that that looks a little kind of fat there uh, that's okay. For now, we're just going to go ahead and do that. I'll show you what we can do later. And that looks pretty good. All right, so done. And now I have the curve for the rim. Now we have an issue here. I did the tire first. And so uh, I don't necessarily uh, want the tire in front of the shape of the rim. That's okay. We just come over here, create a new layer, assign the curve for the rim on a new layer. There we go. We'll hide the tire. And then we just have this to do work with. Come over to the front view again. Tap revolve. Same thing. Drag the axis down to this bottom axis here. X axis. Snap it. And there is our rim. That looks pretty good. That actually looks really cool. I'm going to tap done. Oh, we were still on the hidden layer. So if I open that up, that is there. Uh, make sure that when you select layers, that you tap on the layer to select it. So let's take this surface and assign it to this layer. There we go, there's our rim. So that looks okay. Uh, the tire looks a little fat, the wheel looks a little small for uh, this, this uh, tutorial. But um, what we can do, what's really cool with the revolved surface feature, is once you have a revolved surface, if you take the profile curves that you use to make that surface, I'm just going to select both of them. If I drag them up, all I have to do is drag them up, so like that, you'll see that uh, the shape changes. The, the actual uh, rotated or revolved surface, sorry, revolved surface changes. 
you get something really nice like that. So you can kind of play around with what you want. I'm going to go with something just like that. That's about right. Nice kind of low profile tire and a uh, skinny little rim. And once I'm done, just to make a, some differentiation here, I'm going to make this rim a little lighter gray. I'll come up here to the surface color, change it to like a light gray color like that. And then I'm going to make the tire a darker gray, actually, more like a black, not all the way black, but like that. And so there you have your rim and your tire in you make, and everything is on its own layer. So you have the curt, you have the tire on one layer and the rim on another layer. That's it for this uh, first section or first portion of the tire uh, tutorial series. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or feedback for us, feel free to let us know on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter or Instagram. Uh, we really look forward to seeing what kind of wheels you will make. Uh, and um, continue on to watch the next video in which we will make the spokes and then the video after that for the central hub. Take care. Have a great day, guys. See you.